All right. Good morning, everybody. Not very much morning. It's 12:30, but today we are going tractor shopping. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna film the whole thing, and we're taking you on the ride to go see it. So the fun part about all this is that uh, this is kind of a first-time tractor shopping experience. We're not really sure what we're gonna see, what we're gonna look at. We're definitely gonna see some things that we don't need that are really cool to check out anyway. And we made it to Caleb's house. There's Jake. Jake, say hi to the vlog. Vlog on, everybody. I have clothes of yours. I have here. Take it. What is it, Christmas? I don't know. You left stuff in the truck. Well, the I truck. say hi, Caleb. And Caleb's cripple brace. I got this, too. We gotta, we gotta We're going inside. What are you buying today? A 97 Hyundai Accent, 100,000 kilometers, clean, sport edition. Okay, so we're back in the truck, Caleb and Jake are here, because we have to go pull out Jake's car from the snow. This yes. time though, we're gonna put someone in the car. Yeah, no, we're gonna try to do this differently than we did it last time because, uh... No, oh, oh. If you've seen the last video, we didn't do it as smart as we could have. And it's not my car, so... so 45 That's minutes. not close. I don't have to deal with the arguments, you know? It's all by text, and then if I get bored, I stop answering. So now Sophie's following us. We're on our way to go get Jake's car. And he goes, yeah, the car's like five minutes away. And, uh, no, it's at the end of the of the boulevard, very far away. It's Probably like a solid it. 10 minutes. It's like 50. I feel like if I pull it too hard, it's just gonna come apart. Good okay, thing right. we're gonna film it, because I might need that for my insurance. I've turned the boys on to Ford too. That's the best. No, part. no, I'm still a Toyota. No, no, guy. you're looking as you were looking this morning at an F250. Yeah, but and you were looking at F150. And what did you Diesel. what did you tell me when I bought? What are you doing, you? Like, hey, what are you doing? It's a fully cameled car. Go ahead, run your X5 into my truck. Your eighty thousand dollar truck. What just all fell off the bottom of the truck? I would never do anything illegal on a public roadway. Hey, you want to get dinner sometime? Alright, we made it to the house that the car is at and the owner's not here, so so what we're gonna do is we have the truck lined up here. Sophie joined us, say hi. Hi. And uh, we're going to try to pull it out because apparently it's stuck. Alright, so Jake, um, see you later. And Caleb are now gonna go do the tractor shopping. So basically we got here and the guy who- shut up! And the guy who said he would leave the key on the tire did. And of course he's not answering his phone, so we can't get the car. His pants are hanging down, you can see his left cheek. <laughs> this city's called Pierrefonds, which means French for rock bottom. This is the ghetto. Okay, so we're at the uh, we Kubota the, dealership. Let's, take the sticker off too, let's do a little pan over there. I can't film too much inside because uh, we don't really know these guys, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, we're with Lucas now. Lucas came to join us. Look, and look, we, I'm wearing a hat. We all got Kubota hats. We're all wearing our Kubota baseball <laughs> hats. So we're gonna go check out some big tractors now. So we're in the field of tractors right here. We just looked at the Jumbo, the M7, the biggest tractor they have right now. I don't want to take out the camera too much because it's raining, but we're having a lot of fun here. Uh, checking out the tractors, playing with things that we, can't we really, afford. we really, yeah, we can't afford. We really don't need, but they're fun to look at. So now we're in Lucas's car. We left the tractor place. I think we found a pretty good deal. I think, uh, I think we know what kind of thing we're gonna get. Say hi, Lucas. Uh, and we're going. Lucas is Lucas is sponsored. We're going to uh, Lake Keeper Mark's Work Warehouse to get some overalls. After the overalls, we're going to the fish market because I think we're gonna cook a nasty dinner tonight for the whole family. So that'll be a fun little video. Okay, I really need to get better at this vlogging thing. We just finished at the fish market, and we got a really big hunk of tuna. Hold on, let me... A chunky boy. Cost a good amount for Probably a tuna. Gonna it's gonna be fun. We're gonna cut steaks and sear them, and we'll show all that on video. So I really got to get better at this vlogging thing, because I completely forgot to film everything we did. We got the tuna out, we skinned it, left a little bit too much meat on it, but we ate the meat raw, so it's all good. We're Canadian, so we put some maple syrup. Yeah, uh, We got the olive oil, we got coconut aminos, a substitute for soy sauce, sea salt, we got garlic powder, we got smoked paprika. You just gotta let them make love in the pan. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to get your hands in there and really. Caleb's chopping veggies, because we're gonna make Sprite veggies. We figured that out from deer meat for dinner. He makes these Sprite veggies, so we figured we'd try them. But we put the can of Sprite in. We used the whole can, I thought we were gonna use less than that. And now we have to use soy sauce, or what we have as a substitute, coconut amino, right? Is that what it is? Give her the beans. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, because there's not that much soy sauce, is it? Sea salt. Flavor. I think that's good. I have no recipe for this, so we're kinda just gonna 
Yes. <laughs> and we're back. We're searing. Okay, you can put it again. And it's going really well. Get some nice color on the tuna steak. Look at that. You can easily have a cooking show on this, but I, I can't even vlog. So we're eating good tonight, let me tell you. Steak, wow. We done did good. <laughs> All right, so we're about to sit down for dinner with the family. We got our tuna, we got our little sauce that we made with it, and uh, we're gonna have a really good dinner. And that concludes our tuna steak and veggie dinner. How do we do? Well then, guys. It was really nerve wracking cooking a almost $200 piece of fish, but I think, I think we did it pretty, pretty, pretty good. Better than any five-star restaurant, really. All right, so we had a pretty eventful day. We didn't vlog the rest of the night because uh, it was pretty enough. We ate dinner, came downstairs, watched some YouTube, but uh, we had a good day. Tractor shopping, good eating. The tuna was amazing. Yeah. Now I've never cooked something like that before. I don't know if you have. Yeah, that was our first time <laughs> cooking something <laughs> cooking like that. Cooking something expensive. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> a little, scary. A little nerve-wracking, but uh, I think we. I think we did a pretty good, that was pretty a good little, job. A little stressful, but uh, no, it was really good. We cooked it one way the first time, and then we, we, we actually were able to put it back in the pan, do it a different way the second time. It was really cool. Yeah. Just like the last one, I'm not a vlogger, so I don't know what the next one's going to be, yeah. but we're going to figure it out. When we do to... something fun, you'll see it. So uh, thanks for watching this one, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.